Here's Mummy's little angel. Oh, he's a little angel in the wind. As far as I know, she was living in Kailisha. She was being neglected. Uh, she was being abused and she was having litter after litter of puppies. That's all I know. I don't, I don't want to know more. It breaks my heart that my baby girl went through that. I was in the parking lot watching videos on Facebook waiting to visit my mom in ICU. Um, my mom was very, very sick at the time and a friend of mine um, shared, the, shared the video of Daisy May of Enzi and I watched it and the little girl with the crazy ears was the one that I wanted that I fell in love with. I just, I, was, I don't know what it was, it just, as soon as I watched it I, and I went in to see my mom and I said, Mommy I found my doggy, I found the dog that I want to adopt. I was so excited that my friends threw me a doggy shower and I got a whole lot of gifts for her, from all my, from all my girlfriends. Um, and then the day that I was going to go and fetch her from the airport, I suddenly started getting terrified because I'd never met her. Every time I went near her, she cowered away from me. My cats were acting all weird because now there was a dog that they didn't know. And she used to go for them whenever they, she saw them. And I was just like, well, I think, oh, I think I've bitten off more than I can chew here. I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, and my mom was like, you yeah, just... Calm down, just take it one day at a time, just persevere, and we have, and she's, it's been worth every single second. The changes are, oh, they're too many to mention. When I used to come home from work, she'd look at me, she'd put her head down and look through the top of her eyes at me with utter suspicion. Um, she never, her tail was always tucked in. Her tail is never tucked in anymore. It's always wagging. When I hold my hands out, she comes and she puts her chin in my hands. She gets excited when I get home from work. She gets excited when anybody comes here to visit. She absolutely loves her granny. When I first adopted her, she used to curl herself into the tightest little ball to sleep. Oh, when she sleeps now, she climbs onto the couch, she gets herself comfortable, and she snores like a little train. I just... I need her as much as she needs me. She's taught me that you can overcome anything because if in five short months she can go from being a terrified dog in not a very good condition to the happy content of the dog that she is now, you can overcome anything. When the time is right, Daisy May will get an adopted brother and he will also be a rescue and most probably a pit bull because if Daisy May and I can change one person's opinion on what pitbulls are really like, then we've done a good job.